Okay, folks, I'm going to try something a little different this time. Instead of doing this in regular speed, I'm going to narrate it and speed it up. Some things you'll notice the fat guy goes a lot faster. But, you know, I speed it up because people say I need some cardio. So here's my cardio workout. Anyway, there's the star washer. goes up next to the radiating part of the antenna. Put in a nut there and tighten it down. Okay. You want to get that good and tight, not over tight. Don't break the damn thing, but get it tight and snug there. Okay, that's where a deep well socket works. Uh, there's a there's a strap that will go to the plus side of the unan, and the unan sits up. So you'll see I'm putting the strap facing upwards. Put on a washer. Put on the strap. Put on another washer. Sandwich in between the washers will be the strap. Then that's a nylon nut, so it doesn't need a lock washer. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, it's not. Oh, it might be. I'm going fast, so, you know, could never can tell when you're going this speed, you know, these blazing light speed. There, and now we're going to need to put the bracket onto the unan. We'll get real fast here. Okay, here we go. Woo-wee, I'm burning some calories now. Let's open up the package. Turn it upside down first, yep. There's the package with the bracket. Also has some what looks like hose clamps, but those hose clamps actually have a thread, uh, like a bolt to one side of it there, if you look closely enough. Let's see. Here's instruction. Now, all these, what I'm telling you here, that's why I don't have no problem fast-forwarding this, because it's... All in the instructions, what I'm doing. Good sharp knife there. Dump everything out of the contents of that package. Another reason you don't want to be doing this in the grass, as you'll see when I drop the shit on the ground. All right, here we go. Come on, Dave. Come on, hurry up. There, get the camera fixed. Okay. I've got the bracket on. These are little tiny screws, so they're real easy to mess around. Okay, there you go. Up. Oh, get it in there. Don't forget the washer. Hey, uh, hey, hey, did he did he get the washer? Yeah, you want a washer on the plastic side of it, because if you don't use a washer when you tighten them down, uh, you know the the nut could pull through, and that washer gives it extra area to grab hold of, and gives it extra strength. This is a very well designed and well made antenna. It's very sturdy. I bet you factory workers are getting jealous how quickly I can put this antenna together. Just, don't I, I look like one of the little bees you see going in a beehive. Just a busy bee. A big, fat, busy bee, but a busy bee. Now, I'm just the crescent wrench, you don't usually use that to torque things, but you can use it to hold a, one side of the bolt just to keep it from moving. Oh, look at that hairdo. Should get me one of them lock and load hats. Yep, okay, we got the, there's the little things that look like pipe clamps or whatever you want to call them. And they have th nuts on one end. Just put them, attach them to the bracket. And get the other one attached. Come on, come on, Dave. Even at 4x speed, you're taking too long. Hurry up, hurry up. All right, he's, it th I think he's just about got it there. He's using a crescent wrench. Shouldn't have done that. I guess he didn't want to go hunt down the right tool. Trying to be fast, but being fast and filming just don't work. When you're trying to put together something with umpteen million screws in it. Okay, so you slide it up under. Yep, slide it under there. Rotate it around, and then you can put the clamps together. This is where the power tool really comes in its own right here. It's when you're trying to hold that clamp and then spin it. Of course, you'll see in a minute, I've got the wrong, wrong size nut driver on there. <sighs> you would think I was smoking some, some of that wacky back up, using the wrong size nut. But it, even so, it, it gets it started. There we go. Come on, come on, Dave. All right. Wiggle, wiggle. That's, everything's there. Now let me see. i got to find the right nut for this. Is that it? Nope. Is that it? Nope. Nope. 
Uh, maybe this one. Yep, try that one. Uh, hey, wait a minute, that still ain't right. What's wrong here? Uh, huh. Dead gummit. Hurry up, get it right. Alright, we're gonna get it right here in just a second, trust me. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Now, we're gonna put the... There, we got the right strap on there now, tightened up. Amazing how it works when you put the correct uh, stuff on. I'm going to put the transmitter strap. This goes to the po positive or plus size plus side of the Unin. Simple wing nut. The strap goes in between the two flat washers. Tighten it down. Don't use no tools on a wing nut. A wing nut has r wings on it for a reason. The reason is it's meant to be done with your fingers, not a pair of pliers. So there we have it. Now we'll move on to the grassy knoll, where we will finish this up. All right, here we go. Uh, continuing the cardio workout. Whew, all right. Uh, that's not high enough. There's something to hold it off the ground a little bit. There we go. There we go. Leave some dirt. Got plenty of that. Let's mount the antenna on. You can see the gripper part. Goes against the mounting bracket. Hey, dummy! You got the you got the grounder radio thing pointed the wrong way. Oh, well, he'll figure it out. All right, can't get it. Just finger tight, just enough to grab hold. Get everything situated. This grounding strap over here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, this don't look right. Hmm? No. Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. Turn it around. Yeah, put it on that screw. Second one back. Put that down. Then only need a couple inches off the ground, just enough to get your wrench under there to hold the bolt while you're putting the ground radials on. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. There we go. Tighten it up. I don't, I don't need power tools. Look how fast I do that. Ugh. Speedy Gonzalez. Get a little bit more tight. There you go. Undo that. Now, wait a minute. Oh, look how wide that strap is. I'm going to have to remove a couple of bolts. Get a couple up so I can squeeze that big old fat strap in there. Luckily, it's fat. The fat strap isn't as fat as I am. Okay, you put the star washer down first. Then you put the strap down. And then a flat washer. And then a lock nut washer over that. And then you tighten it up. Now oh, something's a little harder than what it looks. Yeah, don't I look like a walrus down there on the ground? According to most people, I don't need to be a prepper for anything. I'll be dead before I can get out and do anything. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That antenna is 43 foot. If I put it there, it'll hit the fence. Turn it that way? Nah. I think I'll turn it this way. Yeah, that way. That way, up, 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 right? Yep. Okay, now we're going. Let's go ahead and tighten that up. Uh, get it up more, a little tighter. Whew. Getting hard. Uh, okay, let's tighten these. Hold up. Maybe a socket. Maybe a socket will be faster. <laughs> That gum crappy snap on. <laughs> See how fast that is? Yeah. Who needs power tools when you've got fast forward? Right, now, all right, we're going to flip the antenna over. So y'all watch this. It's going to be fast. It happened real, real fast. 
Just unloosen this a little bit, not all the way, just a little bit. Unloosen that. Loosen up the flat wash or flat nuts. Loosen, loosen, not much. Up and over. And that was. Yeah, here we go. We're going to see, I got it all laid out there where it needs to be and marked. Uh, mark with magic marker. The first tube is 30, 32. The well, next one is a intermediate piece, which is 36, and then the rest of them all wind up being 32 after after they're inserted. That's why you've got to mark off four inches off the bottom of each one of those sections. And then, of course, you've got the stainless steel trap. Good thing they're stainless steel because they're exposed. And be sure to order some electrical or aluminum grease. Uh, keep it from seizing up over the years. Okay, next we're going to go over here, and there it is all laid out, so it's all laid out there. Now, you can see me going back, we're going back to the end, I'm going to set the camera up on a tripod, try to get the whole thing in, in view here, but as you can see, I don't succeed, that is a big ass antenna. Look how fast he's going. Look at that fat guy waddle. Waddle, 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 waddle. All right. Back to normal speed. Here we go. We're going to raise it up. And dogs. What the heck is he doing? Oh, man. Look at that erection. I have got a 43-foot erection. Uh, all, you got, all you girls now, don't get excited over that. I know. You, most of your... Husbands and all be jealous after watching me put that up. Have you ever seen such a big shiny erection? <laughs> For an antenna that is. First I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up. And any following notes now that I might have on it while I'm tightening it up is uh, it. I'm going to put a few guy wires on it because most of my wind comes from the southeast. So I think I can get away with three. Well, I don't use wires. You have to use uh, a waterproof type string. I don't have any handy. Even though it's rated at 90 miles an hour, I'm going to get some, uh, some of that plastic string and put up there uh, maybe three of them, uh, you know, two from the southeast, southwest, and uh, another one up there from the north, that, that pole that's just behind my ass right there, I'll put a, put a string from it up there about halfway up the pole, just, just to give it a little bit of stability there, it's not really going to go anywhere, uh, if we're expecting that big a rain, I will definitely take the antenna down. The only thing I'm going to go back here, grab the camera, point it up, see if I can get a view of it there, you can see, uh, well, there it is. Well, no top of it. Oh, shake! I'm going to get everybody seasick here. Well, there we go. There's the antenna all the way to the top. All the way. All the way to the top. And there's the little spot. Yeah, good thing I had a zoom on that camera. There's the tree. Of course, that tree is on a little bit of a hill. So there we go. There's a 43-foot antenna. Now, on the next videos, I'm going to do a few radials at a time and then test the radio, do a few more radios. So the next one will be really more of a review than an installation video. See you on the part three.